So when it comes to watchmaking, you gotta have a microscope. Now they can range from all different kinds of prices, from the hundreds to the thousands, to literally just a few bucks. The question is, what's good enough for you? Super fresh, super nice, HP goodness. Hey guys, welcome to Urology Biology. So a few weeks ago, the guys at Link Micro went and hooked me up with one of these nice, super fresh, super nice microscopes, and they basically wanted me to review it for you guys to see if it was something that can be used from a watchmaking perspective and also for the hobbyists out there too. So without further ado, I'm gonna basically check this out, give it my unbiased opinion and keep it super fresh as always in regards to if it's gonna be suitable or not from a watchmaking perspective only. So this is the microscope that Link Micro sent to me. As you can see, the one that they sent to me was the seven inch monitor screen, which is fully HDMI connection. They also do this in a 10 inch monitor screen, but I was not that lucky to get that one. No, sir, they only hooked me up with a seven inch, but it's super fresh all the same. Now in this video, I am only gonna be talking about this purely from a watch servicing perspective, how you can use it in regards to repairing watches and what it's like from an observational point of view, etc., etc. Now this microscope actually comes with three different lenses. And what I like about it is they're really easy to swap. You basically have these two screws on the side of the microscope and all you need to do is you just basically unscrew them and you can put in the new objective underneath. Now they do the 12 to 320 millimeter one, which is currently on the microscope right now. They also do a 90 millimeter by 300 millimeter range one. And the final one is a four millimeter by five millimeter. Now I'm gonna say straight off of the bat that the four to five millimeter one is completely not suitable in regards to watchmaking perspective. That is more for when you wanna put an underlight underneath the microscope, which they actually do provide right here. And basically you can look at slides like blood samples or different bugs feed. In this, you actually do get provided with some bugs feed. It's very strange, but uh, it is what it is. Completely useless in regards to watch repairing in any shape or form because you basically will have to have the microscope so low to the base plate that you're gonna have no way of operating it underneath. Now you get these two LED lights that are basically on the side and you can adjust these in any fashion you want. Me personally, I would have preferred just a ring light underneath the objective that you basically, when you're moving up the camera up and down, you basically will have that ring light moving accordingly. These LED ones are okay, but as you can see on the screen, you're getting a lot of shine reflection coming off of it. So you need to kind of find that sweet spot, which can be a little bit of a pain in the backside once you're trying to mess around with it. On the back of the camera, you have got an HDMI out, which is really nice. I checked that because I've got this HDMI connected up as well. You also get a remote control with the uh, microscope as well. So you can actually record straight away. You can shoot videos, you can shoot pictures, and it has quite a detailed menu selection as well. You can basically go through the menu options and you can actually choose a different resolution. Now, one thing I do wanna to touch out in regards to the resolution, you can change it from Ultra HD all the way down to just normal HD, and I did not see any difference whatsoever in regards to the quality of how it looked. Seriously, I'm not too sure why, but I really didn't see any change. I find the quality of the image on the screen itself absolutely looks brilliant. It really, really does look good. You guys are probably not gonna see how good it looks because you're obviously seeing a camera to the screen, but rest assured, the quality of it really, really does look good. So you also get some other accessories as well. Like I said, you get this underground light box, which again is not suitable at all for anything to do with uh, watch repair. You also get a couple of little clamps, which you can basically screw onto the base plate. Again, not something that I've done because I don't find that they're relevant and I don't need to do that. I think that's more if you want to hold something in place if you're soldering, but we don't really do that kind of thing, do we? So. It is what it is. Now, the way that you adjust this camera is, I have this set up to the maximum level of the height. And as you can see, I have got quite a large working distance. And because I've got it up this high, we actually get a really nice view of the movement that's underneath. I'm using this nice, sexy Value 72, of course, as the demonstration model. Yeah, super fresh. You get a big focal ring here, which I must admit is really smooth, and it feels really nice to move with your hands. Um, the only thing I found with it is it takes a little bit of getting used to because once you find that you've got it in place and then you turn it one way, you kind of have to turn it quite a little bit more back to get it back into focus. But once you hit that spot, it's perfectly fine. Now you can also lower and raise the actual camera itself. It's all connected to the monitor on the back of it. 
and it's basically just got one simple little screw. You simply unscrew it slightly and then you can lower the whole thing down. So as I've lowered it down now, tighten it back up and then if you set your focal range again, then you're obviously a lot closer to the movement in question. What I want to talk about now is can you use this to work and can you use this from an observational point of view like inspecting parts, etc, etc. My big problem that I found with this is I did not find this suitable at all in regards to working on a watch. Now the problem I found with it was that when you're going in with your screwdriver it's very difficult from the way your eyes work in regards to how you can find the head of the screw so to speak because it's not a stereo microscope. Now when I use my other stereo microscope it just feels completely natural and it really works super smooth. With this I found it quite troublesome to get the location. Sometimes my hand would be a little bit of a way in the screen as you can see because it's a direct bird's eye view of what you've got underneath and yeah it, it's a little bit problematic. However from an observational point of view this is where I really really do like it and to be honest this is where I see it as something that's useful. So for example you get this on and off button here which is attached to the power adapter and you've got a plus and minus for lowering the brightness of the LEDs and then the other side of it is you have a simple button to just turn the whole thing off. The thing I like about it is, is that when I turn it on now, it loads up really quick. You get the welcome screen and then you're back into the movement straight away. No messing around. This for me is the main thing that I like about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on the other objective, which is more of a zoom objective. And then you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. So I've swapped over the objectives and this is a 90 millimeter to 300 millimeter working distance. And as you can see, I've actually got this still quite a little bit of distance here, but as you can see the image on the screen, it really is super zoomed in. So this is what I'm talking about in regards to how it can work in regards to an observational tool. Very quick, very easy, quickly snap pictures, quickly snap videos. Maybe you have a customer or something like that and they want to see the damage, etc. You can do this really quickly with very little messing around. So as you can see on the screen now, this is really, really zoomed in. And if I move the movement around, let's say that we want to look at this screw, for example, and then I can focus in on this, I can focus out, etc. And you get a much clearer image of exactly how it looks. Let me just move in these LEDs a little bit closer again so that you can make it more brighter. So again, this is what I'm saying from an observational point of view. I think it's really, really good. The other thing that I really like about the camera as well is from a height perspective, you can actually easily adjust the monitor. So you can tilt the whole thing back so that it's at a much different angle. Maybe you're standing up when you want to look at it and you have this on a lower bench, let's say, as this one is clearly here. And you can tilt the whole microscope screen much more upwards so that you can get a nicer view without breaking your back, so to speak. So I also really, really like that. So overall, I would actually say that for the price in question of $189, all in, it's a self-contained unit, I think it's pretty good. Would I use it in regards to servicing watches and actually breaking a movement down? No, not at all. I don't think it's good in regards to doing that whatsoever. I think this is more aimed for people who work within electronics and they use it for soldering, things like this, which of course would be perfectly fine. But from a watch preparing perspective, with obviously a very different shaped item, let's say, because the movement is not flat, it has different levels to it of distance, it's not very practical in regards to that, and a stereo microscope would work a hell of a lot better. However, for an observational tool, this one is really good. Will I use it? Most definitely I will, because like I said, it will make my life a lot easier, and time is money at the end of the day, so definitely will be a thing that I will be using moving forward. So guys, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below where you can get hold of one of these if you feel fit. Please like this video and if you feel fit, subscribe to the HB channel. If you do subscribe, of course, you're gonna find out when all the next super fresh, super nice, mm, moistly HB goodness is gonna drop in your inbox. Guys, as always, till next time.